And the Orange will next visit Georgia Tech on Wednesday at 8 o'clock. Hey, standing room only at J.D. High School tonight, a packed house as the Crosstown rival paid a visit. Yes, Christian Brothers Academy, a team that, oh, by the way, the Red Rams beat by two points nearly one month ago. You knew this time around would be much more of the same. These two teams are awfully similar, and it was once again a fantastic game from start to finish. Marcus Johnson gets the Red Rams on the scoreboard first, rises up, splashing home the triple, but the brothers Others had an answer. The quarterback, Servasi Dennis, finds a cutting Avion Offman. Offman had a game high 25 on the night, but Peyton Shumpert has been getting so much better in front of our very eyes. Gets back in transition, swats it away. Then it's Shumpert for three, just like his dad did at SU. Red Rams get the win, 63 to 60. Meanwhile, the JD girls played earlier in the day, hosting Pittsford Menden out of the Rochester area, a team that the Red Rams beat in the state championship game just last year. Menden has not lost a single game this season, but that would come to an end today. Sydney Baker lines up the free ball from the corner, knocks it down. Paige Keeler on the drive, misses, but Jamie Beheim right there to clean it all up. The Red Rams were rolling in the second half. Meg Hare tallied a game high, 15 points on the day, scoring off the inbounds pass. JD wins by 16, improving to 12 and two. Uh, well, we knew we had three of the starters coming back, so we knew that they were still going to be just as good as last year, if not better. So our game plan was kind of just do the same thing that we always do, play good defense, box out most importantly, and run our offense and uh, try to make our shots and do the best we can. We went to New York City last weekend and played like two of the best teams we've seen in a really long time, at least I have my four years here. So I think that really helps prepare us for sectionals and regionals and states especially. Yeah, I think we're different than we were last year, but I think we've definitely came a long way since the beginning of the season. More girls hoops from this afternoon. Bishop Grimes and Bishop Ludden meeting off Faye Road. A terrific game. No Danielle Roush in this one either. The Michigan commit sitting out due to a minor injury. The Cobras had absolutely no answer for Aurora Deshaies. She was everywhere on the offensive boards getting rebound after rebound and finishing inside the paint. Without Roush, Deshaies steps up for the game. The Knights reporting a game high 27 points. She was unstoppable. Grimes fought tough in this one. Abby Wilkinson had a, had a team high 16 for the Cobras, but Ludden gets the win, 54-52.